Again, I strongly suggest that this gets written immediately with the I in it. So 2 root 5 plus 3i root 6 over 2 root 5 minus 3i root 6. I'm going to write this a little differently because I want to put a little work down. Minus 2 root 5 minus 3i root 6, 2 root 5 plus 3i root 6. Well, you know, I, I noticed kind of immediately that there's some nice features about this problem over here. Oops, sorry about that. That I'm going to kind of multiply by something. I'm builder in this case over here. And I'm going to multiply this one by 2 root 5 plus 3i root 6. And I'm going to multiply this one by 2 root 5 minus 3i root 6. I'm going to multiply the top by the same thing I'm multiplying the bottom. I want to point out that this denominator here and this one over here is going to be identical. All right? They both involve a factor of 2 root 5 plus 3i root 6 and another factor of 2 root 5 minus 3i root 6. So I'm just going to do it once. It's really a conjugate problem, so it's pretty easy to do. You can get 4 times 5, which is 20. And then you're going to get what? You're going to get, uh, let's see, the middle terms disappear. And then you're going to get minus, let's see, 9 times 6, 54. I squared, which is minus 1. So you're going to get 74. All right? So I'm going to say that that's pretty easy. Both cases, it's 74 in the denominator. That's done. Now i got to do this numerator business. And one thing at a time. I, I mean that um, sincerely. You do this. Let me do that. And that doesn't look too bad to me. I'll write it down for you. It's going to be 4 times 5, which is 20. And then you're going to get, let's see, you can get 6i root 30. Again, 2 times 3 is 6. You get an i. You get root 30. Then what do I get? I get plus 6i root 30. And then what do you get? Plus 9i squared times 6. Well, that's pretty easy to do because that would be minus 54. So I get minus 34 plus 12i root 30. Let me write that down. Let me get rid of my baby arithmetic over here. And I'm going to do the other one. I want to warn you, though, it's minus that. And we'll do that later. All right, I've got to write it down first. What are you going to get? 20. And what do you get? And by the way, I want to tell you what I'm doing here. I'm just doing this part here. That's all I'm doing. So you get 20 minus 6i root 30 minus 6i root 30. And then you get plus 9i squared times 6. Well, what do you get there? Well, let's take a look. You're going to get minus um, 54 and 20 minus 34. And then you get minus 12i root 30. I'll write that down now. So minus 34 minus 12i root 30. 
Well, I got to do the arithmetic now. What do you get? Equals 74. Let's see, it looks like the minus 34 disappears, and then you get 24 i root 30. My suggestion is to reduce it. I notice a factor of 2 immediately, and I would give you 12i root 30. 2 goes into 74 35, 37 times. I'm going to commit this to an answer. I want to get my... Um, my red pen out and see if we match the answer, which is 12 I root 30. I got that over 37. We did a good job. All right, I, I, at the point where we're finished with this section, it wasn't easy to get through. I mean, it's a lot of problems. And if you had to do it in stages, you did it in stages. That's fine. I want to remind you my name is Ron Bannon, and my email address is B as in boy, the at symbol, N N O N dot U S. And again, if you reach out to me with uh, comments or suggestions that uh, may help improve the document, I would appreciate that. However, I may become overwhelmed and I may not be able to answer you. Thank you for paying attention, though.